Four people are being tested for the Zika virus in Dallas County. And Shannon Murray live at Parkland Hospital where there is a task force to take on that virus. All right, Tim, Lauren, I mean, the big concern here is that Zika could be linked to birth defects, and that's why some of the specialists here at Parkland are working on putting together a screening process for their pregnant patients who have traveled to some of those affected areas. Most cases involve people who went to South and Central America. There are 12 reported cases in Florida, two in Nebraska, three in New York City, and three in Washington, D.C. Brazil is considered the epicenter of the outbreak of the mosquito-borne virus. However, Brazilian organizers say they have no intention of canceling the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. The virus has been around since 1947, but specialists in Dallas County say there's still a lot to learn about Zika. I want to know how long Zika virus can uh, remain in semen, how long it remains in blood, how long how the infection affects immune-compromised patients. So there are a lot of unknowns at this point. The most recent case in the Austin area involves a man under the age of 50. He contracted the illness from a mosquito when traveling in Columbia. Dallas County officials urging people not to travel to any of those areas where Zika cases have been reported and there's some of that activity going on again south and central America. Both patients here in Dallas County have fully recovered. Reporting live in Dallas, Shannon Murray for Good Day.